Welcome to this week's 10 minute topic of Swarf and Chips. We've traveled to Dunstable to Future Design Engineering. I hope you're going to enjoy this show because we're talking about efficiency within a machine shop. So today you're going to see well, we're going to get into the machines and talk about multiple setups. We're going to talk about pre-setting tools and how that can help the efficiency. We're going to talk about automation and we're going to meet the staff members too. Enjoy the show. We're uh, obviously a subcontracting manufacturing specialising in multi-axis CNC work uh, for quite a lot of different industries from aerospace, medical, defence to just general engineering as well. And what capacity of machines do you have? So we have quite a lot of VMCs, uh, we've obviously got two new uh, Matsura multi-pallets, uh, we've got a six-axis uh, turning centre and a two-axis turning centre main goal is to get parts out the door that are good quality, the right price um, and efficiency really. Efficiency is a good um, area to jump onto then. What is it that you do in your machine shop that you would say that makes it efficient? Uh, we obviously use the uh, factory with software that monitors the machines and also the way we go around jobs obviously with the new uh, multi-pallet Matsuras are helping as well. And just look at these MAM machines, MAM 72 35V from Matsura. These machines have 35 pallets. They're just like a vending machine. You load them from this station, you can store up to 35, not similar parts, but different parts. And that is the idea with this type of machine, to keep the unmanned run. And working in conjunction with software like Hypermill, you can not only program complex parts, you can do simple ones as well. We can run machines, lights out 24-7, uh, whereas years ago it was just one man, one machine. So a big difference. How efficient are you running your machine shop right now? Not as efficient as we want to, but um, yes, we, we're getting there. We're running probably 40-45% efficient. We want to get up to around the 60-65% over the next couple of months. And how are you going to do that? different way of holding jobs. We've obviously invested in different cam software that's making that efficient, the cutting paths better. The team are actually out on their lunch at the moment, so I want to take you on a little tour. So this here is Factory Wiz. This one here, sorry, keep up, Factory Wiz. We've got Factory Wiz here, we've got Factory Wiz here, and of course, we've got Paul. And I think I you am need- a whiz. <laughs> No, you're not. Um, you need to grow your beard a little bit more to become a Factory Wiz, actually. And turn it white and turn it right <laughs> okay then Paul factory is it's been game changer for future design so what is it unbelievable this software is is completely bonkers the fact that it can monitor everything that's happening in this machine shop these Herco three axis VMC's they're MAM 72 uh, Matsura machines they're all monitored and they can analyze where they're going wrong if they're going wrong so it can monitor the efficiency of the whole machine shop so they can then make changes to their production process and they have they they really have they've made changes to work holding because they realized on some machines it wasn't quick enough but they found that the old way of doing it was very laborious they'd be they'd have to make something and then they'd realize whether it was efficient or not whereas on here real-time data industry 4.0 they know where they are, they know, and they've integrated it with everything. So when, they, when they're saying put an order out, they know exactly where it's going to go and how long it's going to take. And the beauty of it is, you don't even need to be a wizard to use it. It really is simple. And could you use it, Paul? No. Well, you're <laughs> Up to maybe a year ago, we were holding jobs in old fashioned vices that take up a lot of bed space uh, whereas now we're moving towards smaller vices that we can get multiple jobs on the beds um, which again will make our efficiencies better. Paul recently did a fantastic Swarf and Chips on maximising the efficiency out of your vertical machining centres. Thank you. And that's exactly, it was good, um, and it's exactly what they're doing here. So what is it? Because I've never seen this multiple setter. I mean I've seen work holding and tombstones and the Multiple idea parts. is to get more, to basically get one finished part per, per every time you open the door. So you've got a, a fourth and fifth axis unit here, which will be able or capable of machining 
not just four faces, but you could do five faces on there. And you can also then machine maybe the sixth face on one of the vices. And then, you know, so you, you, you can really maximize the production of one part through the process. Not only that, you could put different parts on here. Okay, you've only got one spindle, but what it allows you to do is really keep that spindle going from part one to the next part to the next part without having to continually open the door. Uh, set parts, move parts around and with the fact you've got probing on here as well to set the tools you're really trying to make this area, this working area work for you and be as fish efficient as possible and you can test it by that thing on there. Well, so exactly that and quiz. that's good what? <laughs> and you're going to keep that spindle up time and it will show you of course on factory with. And they used to be running these at about 40% efficiency their aim is to get up to 70 and they can only uh, assess that by the factory with software. Yep. Where are your calculations in terms of efficiency going to help future design going forward? So six traditional uh, CNC machines in our calculations is equivalent to an automated multi-axis machine. So you're telling me six vertical machining centres, traditional three axes are equivalent to one? One multi-axis, multi-pallet machine which can run day, night and weekends unmanned. Well, we've just improved an area of our efficiency in the inspection department. We've uh, linked our CMM uh, machine to DataTrack, uh, so now we can produce our CMM report from a new part. So a first, full first article inspection report that includes a certificate conformancy, um, uh, original cut insert, everything, all documents you need, um, can just at the click of a button on DataTrack be there straight onto your email to send to the customer, um, really. So it's improved our speed a lot, yeah really because all the tools are in the machines. We use the Nikon presetters to speed up the process, make it almost collision proof. Our software now is, uh, does collision detecting, so we're very confident in what we run, which we can run now unmanned, proving jobs out. Now, what about the tool? No, not this one, this one here. How do you go about getting the information about the tool length into the machine? Well, you use a system like this from Nikon. When you put the tool in and measure it, you can communicate the dimensions straight to the Matsura machine, which means not, it's not only quick, but the most important thing is you're getting an accurate reading of how long your tools are. And when we talk about tools, look at how many are in this Matsura man machine. There's hundreds. I think um, factory risk uh, helps a hell of a lot. Communication helps a lot. The system what we have going is, is, is so intact, finally. Everything just rolls out smoothly. Um, so I think communication is a big, big score in what we do. Worked here for you know many years, and it's fun, but the seriousness comes down to the work that we need to get out that front door. We have a great team. It's so much fun, um, and I really enjoy making sure that we get good quality products out to our customers. And of course, I really enjoy Thirsty Thursdays. We've got a good team together. I think we all cooperate well as a team. I'd say that is a big thing for us. Uh, there's no, there's no bad eggs. Everyone communicates with each other. We're all honest. Uh, if someone's not doing a job right, we pull our fingers out and we get it done. Really. So yeah, I think communication within the team is what we do really well. Yeah. So why is investing in an automated machine? What? Why would you go over for the one machine over the six? Uh, just look at the machine, the pallet systems, the tooling that we can hold. It's so much faster and more accurate way of doing it. But what work is coming through your door? A variety? High volume? Low volume? A mixture, yes. Um, I think in my head, maybe a year or two ago, I thought these type of machines were for high volume, but we, we do one-offs on these, low batch runs, as well as high batch volumes. And you're called Future Design, so of course you always want to invest in the next level of technology. What is it you're aiming for? If you make another purchase, what would you be going for? Definitely an automated machine again. It's very clear to see that the efficiencies are a lot better than what we currently have with our older style machines.